What would you do if you just learned today that you only had six months to live? I think I've become a gooner. I find it easy to get stuck into a routine and just live day by day. People wait all day for 5 p.m., all week for Friday, all winter for summer, all summer for winter, all high school for college, all college for a job, and all of life for happiness. It's so weird because a part of me wants to chase after my goals and ambitions and another part of me has no faith in it working out. I'll be okay with settling with something else, something that I don't really like but also something I don't hate either. It's pretty hard to believe that this is it, this is all there is to life. Working every day for a year just for two weeks off and the sad thing is I probably won't reach what I aspire to be and I'm okay with that. Wake up, wake up. Wake up. If you wait for the perfect time to start living your life, it will never happen because these ideal circumstances you have laid out in your head do not and will not ever exist. There's always going to be something that people will use as an excuse to not start something like, oh, it's getting late, I'll do it tomorrow. Once I get this car, I'm going to start. People be watching TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, anime, League of Legends. Once you keep on doing that shit, before you know it, we're all going to be fucking pushing 40. Thinking, I wish I did this, I wish I did that. So if there's something out there that you want to do then you should do it now because there really isn't any better time to do it so guys let me ask what would you do if you had six months left to live A lot of people will be nihilistic and think something like, what's the point in anything if I'm gonna die anyways? Death is what makes life beautiful. I saw a podcast with Neil deGrasse Tyson and he basically said, if you buy someone plastic flowers, they're probably gonna be like, the fuck is this shit? I mean, they'll last forever, right? You won't have to keep getting new flowers. But because flowers die, that is the exact reason why they're a meaningful gift. You're gonna want to make them last. You're gonna take care of them, smell them, put them somewhere for you to see and also everyone else so if you're going to treat flowers with so much attention why not yourself that's crazy bro that's crazy